Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you are watching this, you either own a Black Peak Studio instrument or you're thinking about it. Thank you. So today we're going to talk about our Mountain Dulcimer collection. Uh, they're all cared for and tuned almost in the same way, so that's why we're going to group them in. Today with me on my lap is the Vagabond. This is my traveling dulcimer. Only 25 inch scale. Uh, shorter than the rest and a little thinner, so therefore it makes it easier to carry around, take to the to clubs and take on traveling, sit around the fireplace. Uh, this is a great little instrument. Um, in pin jack, each one comes with an electric uh, pickup under the saddle, so therefore you can plug it into an amp if you do want to uh, play with a larger group and need to be heard. Uh, beautiful sound for the size that it is. So that is the basic model, kind of the, the base model of, of the group that I have here. Very beautiful, easy to maintain, um, lacquer coated finish, gear tuners, movable bridge. That means that um, if you change the strings out and you need to change the annotation, you can do that. Always keep the small string side up against the wood because that's exactly 25 inches, but you can move the other side in case you've got a thicker string and it needs to move back. That way you get the correct tuning throughout the, the range. So that's the Vagabond. Next model is the Curvia. This has been a popular model. Just a unique shape that I came up with. And actually it was a kind of a happy accident that I came up with this. Um, it was supposed to be the model I'm going to show you later, but uh, something happened and I don't like throwing away things. So we came up with this and voila, it became a hit. A little bit bigger, a little bit wider, uh, 27 inch scale, same easy maintenance and care, and, and a little bit richer, uh, deeper sound. Try to come up with exotic woods, this in the case is a wenge, and then it has a hem for top, ebony soundboard, uh, fingerboard. So uh, just a beautiful instrument. Again, this has been a, a real popular model. And then the other model that I came up with not too long ago is the, the Sonoris. And now the Sonoris is your baritone dulcimer. So this has got more of a guitar sound to it, uh, deeper, richer voice, thicker body, unique looks again that's just how i like to do things um, but this is tuned to aea and so it's gonna um, have a little bit richer richer voice to it <laughs> playing by yourself, you'll still use the same tabs as you do with the DAD tuning, but you won't be able to play with other people that have DAD unless you capo at the third fret. Then you can play along with everybody else. But otherwise, sometimes it's nice just to mix it up. Um, sometimes playing the DADs can get a little dull and you feel like something a little deeper sounding, a little richer. Just a beautiful instrument. Just the, the sound is a, it's just unique. And finally, last but not least in this lineup, I have what I call the, the Sablier, and that's French for hourglass. So this is my version of the hourglass dulcimer. I wanted something a little more nicer. I wanted something that was almost like what I would call an heirloom uh, instrument, something that you would give away to your family members. Beautiful woods. It's been coated with epoxy first to fill in all the pores so you get a nice smooth satin finish. Does, this model does have a guitar bridge. Uh, 27 inch scale, but just a, a beautiful sound. Mm -hmm. 